How's it going, my American tech family and subscribers? Thank you for watching my channel, and it's greatly appreciated. And before we start this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or the thumbs up button if you like this video. And let's get into it. So today, let's talk about the well six things that you should have when you go mountain biking. So these are my opinions, and this is what I carry with me everywhere that I go. So let's get into it. So the first thing here is my multi-tool. So this right here is the multi-tool that you can get off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description of where you can find it. Let me open this up here. Show you all what all it comes with. Okay. Takes a minute to open it up. There is a lot that comes with this multi-tool. So it's one of the reasons why I like it so much. So as you can see here, there is a flathead, a Phillips, and you have this piece right here. This one right here, you can actually put a socket on. So here's the range that it comes in. Oop, if I don't have it upside down. Bear with me. All right, let's get it to focus in here. So you have a two, a 2.5, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Torque, or no torques, I'm sorry. Flathead, a Phillips, an eight millimeter socket, a nine millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. So pretty cool little kit. There's all your attachments there. Now this thing does adjust everything on this bike. The only thing that it does not touch on my specialized pitch is the crank bolt. But we're not going to get into that. And you need a puller for that anyways. So most likely you're not going to be taking that off on the trail. If you do, you really screwed up. If you have to take that off, you really screwed up. So let's not worry about that in today's video. So the next thing is, is the chain lube. So every time I wash my bike, I use this right here. It's White Lightning Epic Ride Bicycle Chain Lube. So this is made for mountain bikes. You gotta shake it up and it's, I mean, it's done great. It clings to it. So you can see the chain lube there. I mean, it, it does a good job for what it is and how much it costs it does a good job I'll leave the link in the description for this also so good product now something I had to use for the first time today was I had a flat tire due to a thorn so I actually was on the trail I did not bring any tubes with me and uh, yeah I was kind of out of luck and I would not have been able to make it back if I didn't have my buddy's bicycle pump, which I have not got yet, which I really need to get. And this is how I fixed it. So in my pouch, I keep 90% rubbing alcohol. It's a little low now because I had to use it today, but I always keep 90% rubbing alcohol because not only can you use this for cleaning off your makeshift patches that is just made out of an old inner tube for a tire, for a bike tire. Don't throw your inner tubes away. Make sure you cut them up in little sections like this right here and use them because they make for awesome patches. And um, so you're going to take your rubbing alcohol and to be able to clean, because these pouches do have, uh, there's like a powder on the back of it. It's kind of like a flower consistency. If you can see that on my finger right there. It's kind of like a flowery consistency. It's real slick. And if you don't put rubbing alcohol on this, it has a hard time sticking. So when you go to actually put this on, you're going to want to put this on like that right there and then you're just going to kind of rub it in 
you're going to rub the alcohol in and just kind of clean that off. And then you're going to come up here, take it on your take it on your clothes, kind of wipe it off a little bit, and it'll get rid of all of that powder that you have on that. So that right there is prepped and ready to be put on your tube. So that is where keeping super glue, which I just picked this bottle up at the Dollar Tree. It's two for a dollar, so and there's a lot in here. So I just picked this up, put it on the cutout here, and just put it on your tube, let it dry, put it back in, you're good to go. So that is one option that you can keep with you, just old old tube pieces. And I have a stack of those that I just keep with me at all times. Now, the one thing that I had a problem with one time, so I was trying to find a solution for, was I got debris in my eye while I was riding on the trail from a kick up from another rider. So I keep this refresh liquid gel in my pouch because I can squeeze this real hard and it actually turns into a stream. And as much as I hate things going into my eye, this right here will wash out stuff that's stuck in your eye when you're alone on the trail and you don't have anybody to help you get it out. So it's kind of nice to have around. So yeah, guys, I mean, that's what I keep with me. And then what I carry it in is this Roswell pouch. And I must say, this Roswell pouch right here, I do love this pouch. So it goes right on the seat post. I do have it on the lowest setting right here. And it comes with a water bottle carrier, but I actually took the mesh off and my spare tube goes right here and it does not hit the tire. Excuse me. So there's plenty of room in here for everything you need. And when you put everything in here, you are not out on room at all. So there's my patch kit, my glue, my chain lube here, and my multi-tool. I'll go in there and I still have tons of room that I can still put more stuff in here. So that's one thing. I'll leave the link in the description for this also that you can get. And yeah, so please hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit the thumbs down button if you don't. I'm still getting used to making videos and I'm new to this whole video making experience. So I really wanna serve you guys with as many questions that you have maybe about the bike, about mountain biking, about getting into mountain biking. Because like I said, I am a beginner. You guys are gonna watch me grow. You all are gonna watch this bike change. You're gonna watch me get new bikes. So just please stick with me and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing of what I learned on the trail and what you can learn on the trail. And I appreciate all the views and I, thanks for watching.